Hello, I'm Pete, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas Jot. The location where we're starting this episode might surprise you. I'm at Gene Skydiving. Now why, you may ask, would I be at Gene Skydiving? Well, the reason is, I suspect I might have missed a weapon repair kit when I was here before, and I'm worried that the amount that I'm using my lovely, lovely Oh Baby tool might mean that maintaining it becomes a problem at some point. We haven't needed to take that many strokes with it, but... It's a really, really good weapon, and I want to keep it in good nick. So yes, as I suspected, there's a weapon repair kit on the floor. So let's grab that. I want to have as many of them as possible. There's one other item in this vicinity I want to go to as well. Good Springs. I think I never went into Victor's shack. And there'll be a weapon repair kit in there, which I'm going to go and grab to add to my collection. Indeed, it's looking quite unlooted in here. This thing's full of ammo. Promising sign. And the weapon repair kit is on the table here. Lovely. Happy to have that. And scrap metal I think I'm doing okay for. Broken toilets. Yeah, our, our, our payload is full on those. Lovely, okay. That was all I wanted for from Good Springs. So the next place I'm going to go to is I'm going to check out some of these areas here. Let me see. The NCR sharecropper farms. Yeah. So I passed through these areas quite quickly when I was on my way to Vegas before. But I want to come back here to pick up some skill books. So I think it's that building over there that's got the skill book in it. Let's go and have a little look. Morning. And if memory serves, it's on one of these tables to the left. Maybe just around the corner? Ah, on the floor. Okay, we're very, very hidden, so we can grab that without anyone being alarmed. Brilliant. What's the state of our sneak at the moment? We might be able to take that one straight away. Sneak's at 30, indeed, so we can. A little reminder, of course, one of the rules for this game means that any permanent changes to my skills have to be balanced, which means I'm not allowed to do anything that would permanently increase any of these skills until the ones that are at 30 have been brought up to the rest. So if I have guns, medicine, repair, science, or unarmed books, I can take them right now, but I believe I don't. Right, where's the next stop? There's a location called Allied Technology Offices not far from here. I don't think I have it marked on my compass. I believe it's to the south of Camp McCarran. Uh, so let's pop a marker in there and let's fast travel to grab and gulp. Don't think it's that big square building there. But let's move in this direction and pick up any locations that we can. Probably worth having a weapon active because there might be some fiends around here. We'll go for the rat slayer. I will loot this ash pile. There isn't much good stuff here. Yeah, those red marks over there, they look interesting. By which I mean threatening. Hmm. Hmm. Leo, time for chopping. Oh. We're on. Oh, explosives coming in. Got a little bit bounced on that. Got a good shot in on the waist there. Oh, nice. I liked how your friend got out of the way there. Getting some shots in there. I'll let Lily finish off while I pick up the pieces. Some holes there. Man, this person just over here. Sounds like Eddie's found something. Over my shoulder. Oh yeah, I see them coming in. With a, a pool cue. Good luck. Oh, someone else is shooting at me as well. Thankfully Lily's here. Maybe I should ask Lily to use ranged instead. I'm a little bit over-encumbered. I should do something about that. That's terrible strategy on my part. Got a for you. It's mostly this armour. Maybe I should stop taking the fiend armour. Okay. 
Allied Technologies offices. This is it. This is the building I wanted. Oh, I forgot about you lot. Yeah, okay. Um, maybe the broad machete will suffice. These are just ants. I'll get my anti-ant machete out. And there are a couple more, but my companions are now just going to go absolutely bonkers running around and, uh, and blocking doorways. Thank you. It looks like I might be over encumbered again. Grandma's got a present for you. No, Grandma, the present is for you. You can't hide from Leo. Let's just uh, let's just move on through here. This is the room where I want to be. I'm going to turn the light on. There's a few ants, but I'm not afraid of them. I'm just going to tank their damage. That's how you do it. Get stuck in. And on the floor in here in the pile. There we go. Tales of a Junk Town Jerky Vendor. Very nice. Take the drinks from the machines. Can I use that Tales of a Junk Town Jerky Vendor straight away? It's a barter book. What's my barter skill look looking like? Barter's at 34. No, okay, so I need to hold on to that book for a little while yet. Okay, I don't think there's any more decent loot in this building. Just some trash, so I will move on. And let me see, where am I going to go next? So the next place I want to go is to Cerulean Robotics. So let's start with, I think, the Freeside Central fast travel point. One thing you may be noticing at this point is, hey, there's no Freeside Central fast travel point in my game. That's correct. It's added by a mod. So I think to get to Cerulean Robotics, I need to kind of go around the side. I can't remember whether it's down this path. No, that's clearly blocked off. Okay, so I need to go down this path and loop around. So here we go, through one of the, uh, the, the less populated areas of the game. I think we go down here and uh, around this next corner. It's one of those locations where you'd really struggle to find it if you didn't know it was there because it's it's in such a boring area, you know? And it doesn't even have its own fast travel marker. So it's not even the case that if you got the Explorer perk, then you'd see the marker and think, ooh, how do I get to that? Actually, no, I'm telling a lie. I've just realised I'm telling a lie. This location is used in a quest. If you pick up one of the quests for James Garrett, you will be taken here. So, scratch everything I just said. It was all bobbins. So, there are some enemies in here. They are not very good enemies. Just rats or something. I'm here for a skill book, so I'm just going to find that. I feel like it's... Uh, I feel like it's in this room. Hello, little ratlet. Giant rat, apparently. I feel like these giant rats aren't as tough as the ones that were giving me trouble in the, um, the Brock Flower Cave. I think these are relatively small giant rats. Um, there's a word for that, just just rat, really. Just, just call them rat. Going to take one or two things for making weapon repair kits now that I'm excited about that. And yeah, let's find this skill book. It, it's on, I'm sure it's on a table somewhere. I think it's on one of these desks over here. I'm not going to leave without it. That's what I came here for. Shouldn't have picked up all those fission batteries. Hey, Eddie, you'd like a fission battery, wouldn't you? Eddie likes fission. Okay, right, I'm looking out for camouflaged things now. A skill book that's been put on the floor amidst a pile of trash so that you don't... There, exactly. Yes, told you. All right, so that's a speech skill book. My speech skill currently at 34 means I can't use it straight away. But I think that possibly after the next level up, I might be able to use some of these books. I'll need to be clever about how I allocate my points. So, I've got everything I need from here. Uh, this is, by the way, a very good place for picking up scrap metal. Um, if you need scrap metal, I don't need scrap metal. 
I yet. Maybe I will do one day, in which case I'll come back. All right, I think that that is all the stuff I wanted to backtrack for at this stage. I've picked up quite a decent little collection more skill books. I think I'm going to, well, you'll see what I'm about to get out. Yeah, you know what I'm planning. You can tell as soon as I do that. I'm going to remove that marker. We're going to go to Camp McCarran because I think Camp McCarran is going to be a great spot for playing the old game that we do not call by its name. So Camp McCarran is that huge thing over there. It's quite a long trek to get to it from anywhere else. But once we've been there once, we will have the fast travel marker. So as always, outside the front door of Camp McCarran, there'll be a soldier on his own. Uh, but there's also a merchant kind of pottering about the place. What's up? Fucking expensive to get into the strip these days. I can't trade with you. Yeah, I thought there was, there was normally a guy stood just here. And he's normally the one that you experiment with your weapon on. But it looks like it's going to be these two this time. Wow. That Crimson Caravan person has got very high perception. Well, here we go. That's our opportunity. And nobody knows I'm here. I think I'm going to stop picking up all of the armour. I think that I don't need it. It's just weighing me down. Okay, don't you walk away. That's rude. And I am an expert in etiquette. I know what's rude and what's not rude. This, for example, is not rude. Don't look at me like that. Your eyes are accusing. I can't bear to see. How's my dog tag count? 12. All right, should be able to get that number up quite considerably once we get inside Camp McCarran. This is going to be a fun little montage. See, the problem is my sneak skill is so atrociously low that... I need to make sure I'm completely alone if I want to be able to pull this off. Even having someone else just in the broad vicinity can be enough to scupper my chances. You, go around that corner for a wee. No. Oh, that's a chance. I'm going to have a go for it. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Was not expecting to get away with that, okay. Oh, well, there we go. We've leveled up. Lovely. Right, so we know what we need to do. We need to put points into the things that are at 30. That said, I do want to... Let me see. If I've got skill books for any of these, then I want to keep them back. But I don't, so it's moot. So let's start by bringing them all up evenly here and seeing how much we've got left. So we've got three skill points left. So the question is, are there any of these that I think I'm going to pick up a skill book quite soon? I feel like... Repair is perhaps the most likely. And I think I could get a gun skill book quite easily. So I'm going to put the other three up by one each. Right, perk. Um, we have to take the top perk in the list. In fact, it looks like quite a lot, of, a lot of new perks have appeared. Ah, because we've hit skill levels of 30, lots of new perks have unlocked. Which means that the stuff that was at the top of the list is now being pushed down. And that means we're probably not going to get educated. Oh, that's a shame. I'm now wishing I hadn't used up all of those skill books quite so early. Because there's a lot of a lot of junk here. But I was probably going to end up getting stuck with it anyway. I would have really liked to have got educated. Two more skill points every level. Never mind, we're here now. Let's get combat takedowns. Hurrah. It's always surprised me that these people are able to scream. That's not what I was expecting, you know, given the scenario. It feels like that should be definitely far beyond their capabilities. It's getting quite dark. While darkness probably does help me in terms of stealth, it does make it hard for me to see. Okay, so I think a lot of these markers that are left are going to be named Hello. characters who I don't really want to 
to get rid of. Partly because they probably have slightly higher defence, which means I won't be able to take them down in one shot. Let's try going inside here. I think there might be some nice soft targets. This one's always been one of my favourites. Completely unguarded. No one watching their back. The NCR apparently don't really know much about how to do this whole military thing. Okay, now this is one of those areas that's got multiple levels, which can mean... Oh, you're going to watch me, are you? Are oh, you starting to wise up? Uh, yeah, multiple levels can mean it's hard to track people down. There's a couple of soldiers by the doors here. They are tricky to deal with. They are covering each other. Slightly smarter, these ones. But then through in this next area, this is where there's pretty good pickings. Yeah, you two watching each other. But like this couple of people over here should be able to take them down. Uh, turn off my light. Okay, I think I might need to take out this one first. That's not working. Might need to wait for them to move. Let's have a look over in this little area here. I think this might be a, a good opportunity to get ourselves a dog tag. Yep, that worked. Anyone else over here? You. I'm going to watch you for a little while. Legion can count on that. Don't mind me, just go about your business. Still being detected by one trooper. Now I'm hidden. Yeah, I think we're good. I heard a little plinking sound. New Vegas Samurai. Doing lots of damage with melee weapons. Over encumbered again. Grandma's got a present for you. If grandma's present for me is her pockets, then thank you. I'm good. Check it. Check quickly the count. And see our dog tag 19. Nice. I'm going to get it up to 20 for this episode. That's my plan. If I hit 20, then I'll be a happy boy. Nobody knows. All right, 20 NCR dog tags. We can call it a day there for this game, but I will want another 10. I'm not going to pick all these bodies up and arrange them into neat piles. It's really tempting, but it's also really slow, and I don't have the patience for that. Okay, but yeah, this... Um, I just can't believe the state they leave this place in. Uh, yeah, this, this is a place I will come back to when I want to accumulate more dog tags because the NCR soldiers respawn and they're just so stupid. So colossally stupid. I have no pity. I don't feel bad at all. I mean, that one, they're, they're just oh, they just stood there. They're so ripe. But it would put my total over 20. It would put it to 21 and I was hoping for a round number, which I've got. While we're here in Camp McCarran, there is a thing that we can do. We're very conveniently located for it. Uh, let's just head in through this door. So it's been about four episodes since I started Eddie's companion quest, and I think enough time has passed that we should be able to trigger the next step of it. And uh, there are a few people who are able to do this. Uh, the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, I think probably um, Doc Henry up in Jacobstown could as well. But also Dr. Hilden here at Camp McCarran has the necessary dialogue line. So all we need to do is get him to talk about Helios 1. Let's have a go at that. There he is. I was looking for him at this desk, but he's at this desk today. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? Um, no, this is the first time I've heard about Vault 22. No, they wouldn't have briefed you, would they? Probably better that our junior fellows stay within the bounds of their pay grade anyway. Vault 22. Where to begin? Save the sales pitch, just tell me what you want me to do. All right, straight to the point. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlocked the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them, no one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. 
Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. I'll think about it. Very well. I hope you'll consider this an open offer from the OSI. Now, I'm sure your time is valuable, so unless there was anything else... I actually had some other questions. Oh? What might those be? What do you think of NCR's chances against the Legion? To be frank, I have no idea. I leave the fighting to Colonel Shu, and I expect him to leave the science to me. Too many people have opinions on things they know nothing about. And the more ignorant they are, the more opinions they have. Too true. Tell me more about the OSI. The Office of Science and Industry. It's a rather expansive topic. I could talk for hours, but I'm sure I'd bore you. Suffice to say, we are the leading edge of the NCR. Our work focuses on practical matters, medicine, engineering, biology. The dam, for instance. OSI roots its energy supply to our cities in the West. That's only one responsibility of this office. Okay, the dam, that's that's useful. Um, that's, that's taking us in the right direction. We want to get to talk about Helios 1. Do you control the dam from here? Directly? No. But we attempt to maximize its output. You have no idea how difficult it is to provide power to an entire nation. I also have high hopes for our Helios 1 facility. There we go, that should do it. I can't say the same for the two scientists who are working there. So far, they've only managed to achieve 1% power output. I'd send help if I could spare the personnel. Uh, goodbye. Yes, goodbye. Eddie? Download complete. There we go. Begin recording. Navarro Outpost Scientist, I am glad that EDE has reached you. You will find several data banks of information on this machine. Let's continue that log. Please handle this information with the utmost care, as it represents the sum total of the results of my research on the Duraframe iBots. There are also several data banks with information on my research into Poseidon Energy, and some projects they were working on in the Mojave area. Alright, and now we just need to wait a couple more days and uh, and things will happen. Okay, let's, uh, let's head on out. I don't... The thing is, I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to be going into Vault 22. Let's let's talk to Angela just in case. You're new. I'm Angela. Williams. Were you just looking around or Okay. Need help with anything? You mean give you work? No, that'd be up to the administrator, Hildern. He's back there in his office. Between you and me, I don't think he ever leaves. Plenty of mercs go in to see him though. Mercenaries, what for? I can't say. We're not supposed to talk about the research, not the details. If you're interested, I'm sure he'd see you. Okay, nice I think I didn't you. actually pick up the anything, there stands the grass the quest. Let me just check my quest log. Yeah, indeed. Okay, no, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I was, I was just thinking that if we had picked up the there stands the grass quest, then I'd want to talk to Angela Williams, but we didn't get that far, so that didn't happen. Okay, I think I'm going to end this episode here. And I think in the next episode, we're going to be heading to Nelson and doing the Legion quest that's there. That will then gain us some infamy with the NCR, which means that once we've completed that, I will be planning on moving quite swiftly onto the Strip to get the reputation reset with the NCR. But for now, I'm going to head back to Novak. I'm going to drop off all of the stuff that we've looted from here. And I hope you'll join us for the next episode of Fallout New Vegas, The Jote. Goodbye. <laughs>